Let's take a moment to get used to the Visual Basic Editor. There is a lot to look at here, but we are going to start by focusing on a couple of primary areas, the project gallery and the code window. The project gallery is where all the code is stored, but it's stored inside these smaller compartments like workbooks, sheets, and modules. Let's simplify this storage concept with an analogy. Think of the project gallery like a filing cabinet. You wouldn't toss all of your documents in a pile. You need to keep them organized. So inside this cabinet, you have big compartments called modules. These help you group and organize your more granular items. Modules contain all the different little bits of code that you write, and those little bits of code are called procedures. Some procedures are short and some are very long, but they all get stored inside these modules. There are a couple of other storage locations and we'll discuss them later in the more advanced topics, but we'll talk about modules for now. When you open the procedures to read the code, that code is displayed within the code window. Now, you probably don't have any modules or procedures yet, so let's set some up so that we can do some programming in the next couple of topics. Okay, like we said, modules are the containers where the procedures are stored. So let's set up the storage location first. Let's insert a module. To do that, I'll go to the Insert dropdown and choose Module. You can see that the new module, Module 1, was created on the left-hand side. Now let's create a procedure. Before we can do that, we need to select the module where we want the procedure to go. But it's not enough just to click on it, you have to double click on it very intently for it to open up. Now that we've done that, we can insert the procedure here. The same way that we created the module, which was by using the Insert dropdown. And we'll choose procedure. Now with procedures, you'll get a pop-up so that you can answer a couple of important things about the procedure. First of all, its name. And you can't just name it anything. The first character has to be a letter and you can't have any spaces or periods. And try and stay away from special characters because some work and some don't. There are a couple of other options in this menu, but we won't talk about them until our more advanced videos. For now, I'm just gonna enter a name and we'll click okay. And just like that, I have a procedure. Notice that the first line says sub, and the last line says end sub. Those are the two bookends, if you will, that surround your code. So the custom code that you write will be between these two lines. If you haven't done so already while watching the video, go ahead and pause the video now and get yourself set up for some programming. Start by creating a new Excel document or opening up one that doesn't have any important data in it. Then open up the Visual Basic Editor, then insert a module, and then insert a procedure. Take care of those things and then come on back and we'll start doing some programming.